Joaquin. El Batarisa du Rupestre. <laughs> and um, so basically, um, I wanted to give you just an idea of uh, what was sent to you it, before I sent it off. And what I did was I put these pure sound wires on the bottom. Okay? So you got great wires, really good wires. Um, it has a USA made Gretsch for the uh, Rezo. So it's not a UT, don't worry, okay? And you can hear just by my talking, look how sensitive those snares are. <laughs> so you've got great um, snares. I tuned it up for you as well. And then on the top, this was actually one of the better heads I had for this drum, so that that way you could see, um, you know, whoever had it before me um, wrote some different sticking on it. But um, it sounds great with it, and it's super durable. So it's the Remo X, Black X, um, and Made in USA. You can see right there, Made in USA. Okay, so look how gorgeous I shined it up for you too buddy <laughs> okay so I uh, took it, a good care of it and uh, took it apart and then um, uh, shined everything up for you so it's just sparkling gleaming jewel look at that and then um, before I play it there here's the badge on it too so beautiful badge so it's not like their white badge um, or some of their older badge designs it's got a great looking badge which matches right with that because this is a uh, black nickel plated and steel so and then you can see on the bearing edges just really quick the bearing edges are more of a uh, rounded over like Gretsch is famous for rather than like um, more of a sharp but um, it's also I, I think it's uh, it might be a uh, kind of a hybrid between a 45 and a 30. Pretty sure it's a 30, but uh, sometimes with these metal shells, they'll do a little bit sharper um, of the bearing edge to get um, that a little bit more of a tack. And then, um, so just describing like why the design is the way it is. The design is like that with the hammering because what happens is it um, focuses not only the sound, but it also focuses um, the sound waves basing, uh, bouncing back and forth between the top, the, the batter snare and the rezo snare. So then that way um, it doesn't give you such abrasive overtones, but musical overtones. So basically the sound waves are like bouncing back and forth between the hammer marks, which kind of dries it out a little bit. But it is a killer snare, man, killer snare. And because it has, um, the die cast hoops, the cross stick is just ferocious on it. So I'll start with the cross stick. You know, you can get lots of different figures with it, like a, or like a Roomba. Or a Bossa, and then and you can hear that musical ring with the snares off. snares on one of the best cross stick sounds I've, I've ever heard in a drum it's really great it's a great cross stick sound snares on and uh, I'll start with them pretty loose here 
So you just get the overall sense of like the, the full sound of the drum. to um, have that musical ring to it, but with a little bit of dampening. cheap plastic so for the um, attachments for the butt plate and for the strainer they're um, strap instead of plastic and then also um, pure sound wires so you're set man and just look I mean it's like perfectly rounded everything's you know that I made sure I checked there's no um, dents in it or you know whoever had it you know it was like man treat it really well it is pheno in phenomenal shape. So, all right, my friend, enjoy. It's on its way to you. So, hope you enjoy. And I hope you don't mind me uploading this to uh, my channel just so you can get a sense of it because I've got to upload it just to be able to kind of give you the sound of it. Um, and then um, once I um, do, I'll contact you um, personally so that that way you kind of know what to Expect as far as um, delivery date and all that, but yeah, man. And then once you get it in the light, oh my goodness, is it gorgeous? So, 
just really shines. Really shines. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's by far one of my favorite steel snares I've ever played. Ever played. Even beyond some of the LUDs. So Ludwigs that I have. Um, so, you know, like I got this Ludwig and, you know, a whole shelf over here of aluminums, bell brass, uh, wood snares, handmade, uh, like tinio wood from the Andes Mountains with uh, uh, solid mahogany from Tama. Um, you know, I've got my pork pie brass. I've got all that stuff. So, out of all that stuff, for me to be, for me to say that that's one of my favorite snares I've ever had, that means a lot, you know, because it's, you know, not ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's, you know, in mid range kind of thing. Um, but this literally, you're going to have to run over it with a truck to destroy it. It's that strong. And, um, it just, it, you know, even a lot of my students are like, oh, my goodness, that snare sounds fantastic. And other people I play, in the, you know, with gig situations or jams in the garage, whatever. Um, it's a great snare, brother. Great snare. So hope you enjoy and uh, see you soon. Love you. And Merry Christmas. All right, dude. Take care. Love you. Happy drumming.